postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. What's that you're making, Julian? It's a kite. For the kite festival later. What do you think of it? E, it's a real smasher. Do you know I used to love flying a kite. Why don't you come, Dad? It'll be great. <laughs> Sorry, Julian, I can't. I've got a busy day. No time for flying kites. It doesn't look much like kite flying weather. There's not a breath of wind out there. Well, wind or no wind, the post won't deliver itself. I'd best be off. Okay. Goodbye, Pat. Cheerio, Sarah. Bye, Julian. Come on, Jess. Time for work. Oh, Jess! Mum, look what he's done. It's ruined now. Never mind, love. There's still enough time to make a new kite. Hmm. Perhaps Charlie can help. <laughs> Whoa! That was close, Jess. That wind's really picking up. Oh, morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs Goggins. What a funny day this is. The weather doesn't seem to know what to do. Well, I hope it stays fine. Ajay's done a lot of work organising this kite festival. Um, I'm a judge, you know. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do a grand job, Mrs Goggins. Oh, <laughs> Pat. Fifty. I. Oh. Two hundred and twenty-five wide. Charlie, what are you doing? I'm working out the aerodynamics. Oh, I see. Well, mine's a special Pencaster United kite. Look. Hmm. Hello, Ajay. Hello. Thought I'd better give her a polish. I've been neglecting her while I've been busy with the festival. Dad, Dad, I finished my kite. Oh, what's that noise? Are you whistling, Dad? No, it's not me, Mira. <laughs> no me. Well, where's it coming from then? Listen. <laughs> a singing steam engine. Who would have thought it? I didn't know the wind could make things sing. Aye. It's just like blowing across the top of a bottle. The wind can make all sorts of sounds. And when you get that pretty kite up into the air, you'll see what else it can do. Mm. Maybe my kite could sing too. Here you are, Ajay. Thanks, Pat. Perfect weather for the kite festival, hey? Thank goodness that wind picked up. Aye. <laughs> Cheerio. This kite should be perfectly aerodynamic. You see, when the wind comes up like this, 
the angle and the wind speed should push it up even higher. Um, and then, uh, and then, when... Shall we give it a go, then? Oh, yeah, OK. Looks like we've got a parcel for Ted. <laughs> I wonder what he's been ordering this time. Meow. Just the man I've been waiting for. Here, I'll give you a hand. My, you have been busy, Ted. That's a grand kite. Aye, and this parcel will be the final touch. That's the best tail I've ever seen. Ah, oh, she's a beauty, all right. Whoa! Oh, no! Don't worry, Pat. We'll catch it. to go. Get it, Ted. Phew. Almost lost it that time. Thanks for helping me catch it, Ted. No problem. Jess, where are you? By heck, it works! <coughs> Quick, Ted! Follow that kite! <coughs> I don't... don't think this one is... is going to work! Of course it will! You just have to run faster! Okay, let go now. Ooh. Wow, look, it can do tricks. Oh, maybe not. He's heading for the church. Oh, no. Not the weather vane. Ooh. That was a close call. By gum, he's off again. OK. So what we need is a kite that looks good, can do tricks and stay up in the air. How do we find a kite like that? Um, maybe we could join our kites together. Brilliant! <coughs> Ooh, get it, Ted. Oh, my heck. Don't worry, Jess. We'll catch you. Hello, and welcome 
to Greendale's very first kite festival. We've got some brilliant kites here. So, best of luck and happy flying, everyone. Hooray! Yay! has to be the best kite ever. Definitely. Oh, no. Where did he go? Oh, dear. We'll never find him amongst all these. What a turnout, Mrs Goggins. This is very impressive. It is indeed. Oh, my word. Look at that one. It's beautiful. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Excellent. Meow. That kite looks a bit like... It can't be. Jess, hold on tight. <gasps> <gasps> Jess! Quick! Somebody do something! Watch out, Jess! Oh no, poor Jess! What can we do, Dad? Uh, hmm. I know. Can you do more kite tricks like that? I, I think so. Then I think we might be able to bring Jess back down to Earth. Can you make more loop the loops? OK, come on, Charlie. Okay, come on, come on, Charlie. Charlie. You, can Charlie. you can do it. Oh, good show. Okay, everyone. Take the strain. Ready? One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull! Oh, welcome back, Jess. Yes! Well done, well done! Hello again. Thank you, everyone, for coming along to Greendale's first kite festival. All the kites have been fantastic, and I'm sure you can't wait to see who has won one of these wonderful prizes. So, without further ado, let me hand you over to our judges, Reverend Timms and Mrs Coggins. Thank you, Ajay. The prize for the prettiest and most musical kite is awarded to... Mira! Next, we have the prize for the kite with the best flying skills. And it's awarded to... Charlie and Julian. And our final special prize goes to the bravest kite flyer, Jess. <laughs> I think Jess will be keeping his feet firmly on the ground from now on. Postman, postman, that can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a 